was a peaceful demonstration. In Newark today, a community gathered in an attempt to draw attention to their ongoing fight against senseless violence. It was a peaceful demonstration. That was until the march ended violently as a Newark police officer put a two, CBS2 photographer in a chokehold, handcuffed him, and put him in the back of a patrol car. Our Christine Sloan nearly went with him. She has more now from a wild scene. What started out as a peaceful march in front of a church by parents whose children have been murdered on the streets of Newark. Put that camera away. Turn the camera on. Put the camera away. Put the camera away. My man. My man. You heard what I just said, man? Now get the camera out of here right now. You get your hands off my camera turned violent when a Newark police officer arrested our CBS2 photographer covering the story. Stop! Put your hands yeah. behind your back. Stop. No, he's going with me. He's going with me. You can't arrest him! I can do whatever I want. The camera kept rolling as the officer put our photographer Jim Quartermine in a chokehold, then handcuffed him. Witnesses snapped these pictures. He went to put the, the camera down. Before he got the opportunity to, the police officer just came in knocked it down, put the handcuffs on him, grabbed him by his neck. He was just overly, just, it was just out of control. I couldn't believe how they grabbed him and then grabbed you and tried to take your camera. The officer placed our photographer in a cruiser for almost an hour. That's stupid, man. We got time for this. But Councilwoman Mildred Crump, who was there attending church services, pushed for his release and talked to the officer. I did show him the picture of the um, your cameraman who was cuffed and in what appeared to be a chokehold. His side of the story is that he had asked him not to do it and when he uh, persisted, decided that he just wouldn't take it anymore. But our photographer was not trespassing, shooting the story on public property. The Newark Police Department is not commenting. The officer even threatened to arrest me. None of your business. Stay away from me right now. Or you'll be sitting in that car. One of the reasons I said we need to release your uh, uh, cameraman is because you have a constitutional right to uh, videotape. Uh, what is going on. The Newark Police Department says it won't comment until they have looked at all the facts. In the meantime, Councilwoman Crump says she will ask for an investigation. Christine Sloan, CBS2 News. Our photographer was issued a summons for disorderly conduct. CBS2 plans to fight that summons in court. He is okay, by the way, tonight.